Kavir, uh, how did, how do you feel this performance? Uh, where did you really go wrong? And could you have made it? Yeah, definitely it was, there was a chance of made it, making it. Actually, we, we made a few mix mistakes in the fielding where we dropped a few catches. Uh, that, could, that could have reduced the runs by at least maybe 15 to 20 runs. Uh, then if uh, we could have, again, uh, when we were batting, we were in some, at, some, at some stages we were very well in the game. Then we lost wickets like one or two wickets uh, just in a short time. Uh, at that, at that was the stage when we, uh, we just, it just went out of our hands. But I will say uh, our team overall, uh, compared to the last World Cup when they played against India, they played really well and they, they, I think they impressed them. Uh, they, the performance at to, to overall was impressive. Uh, but we could have done better, I would say. Kabir, would you say that the drop catches went as far as costing you the game tonight? No, I don't think so. The, uh, actually, the, the Indian batting line is quite, I would say, there's quite a bit of depth in it. And obviously, if you'd have even caught the catches, there would be some more quality batsmen coming in. It's, it's one quality batsman following the other quality batsman. So they would have scored, I think, at least 140 uh, in any case. Uh, but that would have made a difference. You never know in cricket. You, sometimes you take wickets and it, you follow it by some more wickets. So. But obviously I was thinking that uh, even 160 at a stage, when, we, when we, the way we started, it was achievable. We could have, if we would have played a bit, a bit more sensible, we could have uh, achieved it. Where the boys uh, were some sort of pressure after they dropped the cash, those cases, uh, because before that uh, I think they were uh, you know uh, putting I mean, good effort and they were uh, you know they started very well up to five six overs they kept uh, Indian uh, run rate uh, very low. Well, uh, that's that's a factor actually. The main thing is that obviously those boys because they are not exposed to international cricket quite a lot. This sort of uh, pressure, the, the the teams we are playing against, the crowd, the camera pressure, it's all together. I would say some. I would say the catches who, which were dropped by the players, they are one of the top. They are one of the top fielders who dropped the catches. So I think the pressure factor come in, came into it. India, as a, as a big team, will always have their pressure on the players, but. Uh, as I said, uh, the, 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 it does affect uh, the, uh, the pressure, and actually, that's the other way that we, uh, the, if you look at it on the, uh, from another angle, obviously, if we, we play a bit less international cricket, or we play less against the top teams, and if given the chance, I would say, like, if we played India in two years, two, twice in T20, obviously, if you'd have, you would have played them five, five times, maybe, or six times, the result would have been much better, much better and much different. Just a second, last question. Uh, coach, uh, you just mentioned that even 160 would have been chaseable. So, uh, did, did the Indian bowling look at any point uh, threatening uh, enough? Well, to be honest, uh, the way we planned it, actually, we knew, we knew that there's, there's going to be one bowler short. They're playing with four bowlers. And the, that one bowler was the target. Uh, we were looking at uh, to play Ashwin a bit defensive and don't give him more wickets uh, because he was the only one who was going to create a bit of problems on that wicket because the wicket was not supporting pace bowlers at all. So yes, there was a chance. Obviously, we, we we looked at it and we thought that if we if we play Ashwin a bit better and uh, try to just score runs off other balls and then try to catch those four overs which are going to be bowled by non-regular bowlers, then we were we, we had a very good chance. Thank you. What will be the plan against you? Well, that's going to be for tomorrow, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is so. for tomorrow. In Barbour till 1100 hours, Colombo time. Three matches on England's game against Afghanistan. Yeah. And the plan. So it's the for plan England. England. Will well, the approach be the same? England is a totally different team uh, compared to India, and obviously they, uh, they, they've, they've got pace bowling who, who are, I would say, conditional bowlers. They, they bowl very well in England, and obviously they have struggled in, in Asia before, and we are going to try to exploit that. Uh, Kabir, Afghanistan have basically realized that England uh, struggle uh, for spinners. I mean, are you going to strengthen your uh, spinning department? Uh, we've already got enough spinners in the team. Uh, we've got a leg spinner, we've got two off spinners, we've got a real brilliant demand against India. Especially, I, I would, I would uh, say that the way our spinners bowled against India today, that shows if India and the batsmen are one of the best in, uh, against the spinners. Well, I think three are enough and obviously we'll think about if we have to have a fourth one, but I don't think so. Last question. 
how do you uh, think about the your success what's the secret of your team success last you said last time uh, compared to this time well i would say the, the success is uh, due to their unity uh, and the unity is because of the the background uh, the way they have been through all all to different uh, our say difficult conditions uh, during the war during the camps and stuff and those boys uh, all those difficult times have brought those boys very very well uh, close together because at some time someone is always struggled due to their family or somebody related to uh, the bad condition in back home and obviously all those things uh, has helped them and obviously what what happens is that obviously if one is struggling all the all the others are acting like brothers and they are they are keeping a very good brotherhood in the team and obviously i'd say all the 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 hard uh, tough time back home is can making you, can you clear. tell us icc how they supporting your cricket well <laughs> we are very well supported by icc and uh, there is no there is no question about it because icc acc our own government is supporting us very well okay thank you very much thank you thank you thank you all right thank you. हाय विराट आप रन मशीन की तरह रन बना रहे हैं ये क्या है मैं आपसे जानना चाहता हूँ ये पर्पल पैच है ये अच्छी फॉर्म है कंसंट्रेशन है मैच्योरिटी है किस में डिस्क्राइब करेंगे आप ज़्यादा मैं कुछ सोच नहीं रहा हूँ इस टाइम पे पिछले ऐसा पैच एक बार पहले भी आया था तो सब पर्पल पैच बोलने लगे उसको लेकिन मैं इतना सोच नहीं रहा हूँ हर मैच को एक नए मैच की तरह खेलता हूँ और कोशिश करता हूँ कि ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा रन बनाऊँ टीम के लिए और ज़्यादा ज़रूरी ये रहता है कि टीम जीत सके मेरी कंट्रीब्यूशन से तो यही कोशिश रहती है बस इतना मैं अपना पर्सनल लेवल पे नहीं सोचता हूँ कि मैंने अब इतनी इनिंग में इतने रन बना दिए हैं या इतने कंजेकटिव स्कोर हो गए हैं तो मैं इतना कुछ नहीं सोचता हूँ बस सिचुएशन के हिसाब से खेलता हूँ और जितनी देर तक टीम को फ़ायदा हो सके उतना अच्छा हाई विराट नितिन बी से वार्म अप मैचेस अब ख़त्म हो चुके हैं आज पहला मैच था आपका लेकिन ओपनर्स का फॉर्म अब भी एक बहुत बड़ी चिंता बना हुआ है क्या टूर्नामेंट में आगे ओपनर्स को रोटेट भी किया जा सकता है अगर इसी तरह का इसी तरह की परफॉर्मेंस रही तो देखिए ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में मैं मानता हूँ हमेशा एक कॉम्बिनेशन ले अगर आप खेले तो टीम को फ़ायदा होता है अगर आप कॉम्बिनेशन चेंज करते हैं और वो आपके लिए वर्क नहीं करता है तो वो आई थिंक मेरे हिसाब से वो एक नेगेटिव इम्पैक्ट देता है टीम पे स्पेशली बैटिंग में बॉलिंग में आप एक्सपेरिमेंट कर सकते हैं टी ट्वेंटी में लेकिन एक बैटिंग ऑर्डर जो सेट रहता है अनलेस कि पहले के तीन बैट्समैन ज़्यादा खेल जाएं तो लेटर ऑन आप चेंज कर सकते हैं बैटिंग ऑर्डर लेकिन एक कॉम्बिनेशन चेंज करना मुझे नहीं लगता कि अच्छा आइडिया और टी ट्वेंटी में आपको अस्सी नब्बे रन का स्टार्ट नहीं चाहिए आपको चालीस पैंतालीस रन पचास रन का स्टार्ट चाहिए होता है अच्छा तो अभी एक ही मैच हुआ है और जिस तरह के हमारे दोनों ओपनर्स हैं जिस मैच में वो चलेंगे वो काफ़ी अच्छा स्टार्ट देंगे और काफ़ी अच्छी पेस पे देंगे विराट आज के परफॉर्मेंस से टीम के परफॉर्मेंस से आप संतुष्ट हैं और बेहतर हो सकता था और ख़ास तौर पे जब अभी बल्लेबाजी पे बात हुई ओपनिंग में ओपनिंग बॉलिंग के बारे में भी पूछना चाहूँगा बहुत अच्छा नहीं रहा पिछले कुछ मैचेज में टी में ही जी टी ट्वेंटी ऐसा गेम है जब आपका बॉलिंग या बैटिंग अच्छा नहीं जाता है तो वो दो तीन मैच तक खींचता चला जाता है एक स्पेल या एक इनिंग्स चाहिए होती है आपको चीज़ें बदलने के लिए लेकिन मुझे लगता है कि हम बेटर कर सकते थे एज़ फार एज़ बॉलिंग जो हमारी है नए बॉल से अच्छा विकेट था इतना स्विंग नहीं था बॉल में लेकिन मुझे लगता है हम और बेटर एरियाज़ में बॉलिंग कर सकते थे और एक ज़्यादा बड़े मार्जिन से जीत सकते थे मैच लेकिन अच्छा विकेट था और उनकी टीम को कुछ खोने के लिए नहीं था तो वो वो भी एक फैक्टर बहुत बड़ा रहता है जो इतना नहीं डिस्कस किया जाता है कि एक जो टीम आपसे लोअर रैंक्ड है वो आप उसके अगेंस्ट खेलते हैं तो उनको कुछ खोने को नहीं है वो बॉलिंग में भी आएंगे तो पूरा अपना जोर लगा के बॉलिंग करते हैं कुछ उनको यू नो कोई वो नहीं है डबल थाट नहीं है कोई कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है उनको सिचुएशन से तो बैटिंग में भी ऐसे ही है कि आके अपने वो शॉट्स खेलते हैं अगर वो एग्जीक्यूट हो जाए तो बॉलिंग साइड के लिए प्रॉब्लम होता है तो ये सब फैक्टर्स भी हैं लेकिन ओवरऑल मुझे लगता है कि हम और अच्छा कर सकते थे बॉलिंग यूनिट जहाँ तक बॉलिंग यूनिट का सवाल है और एक थोड़ी और ज़्यादा मार्जिन से जीत सकते थे
विराट आउटफील्ड की कंडीशन के बारे में कुछ बताएं क्योंकि काफी प्लेयर्स को दिक्कत हो रही थी डाइव करने में सुरेश रैना को भी थोड़ी ऐसी लग ऐसा लग रहा था कि उन्हें लग गई थी बाउंड्री पे अफगानिस्तान के प्लेयर्स को भी प्रॉब्लम हो रही थी इंडिया इज बेस्ड एट दिस ग्राउंड थ्रू द टूर्नामेंट सो आउटफील्ड हाउ डू यू रेट द आउटफील्ड नहीं आउटफील्ड में मुझे नहीं लगता कोई प्रॉब्लम था थोड़ा ड्यू था ग्राउंड में तो डाइविंग में इतना प्रॉब्लम नहीं था उनके प्लेयर्स को जो थोड़ा बहुत हुआ मुझे लगता है कि क्रैम्प या हैमस्टिंग पुल ऐसा कुछ हुआ लेकिन आउटफील्ड फील्डिंग के लिए थोड़ा पहले से थोड़ा चेंज हुआ है पहले ज़्यादा इवन था इस बार थोड़ा ज़्यादा बम्पी है लेकिन काफ़ी मैचेस हुए हैं यहाँ पे जब यहाँ बारिश भी थी तो एस के मैचेस हुए तो मेरे ख्याल उस उसकी वजह से आउटफील्ड थोड़ा टैम्पर हो गया लेकिन आ, मुझे नहीं लगता इतना बुरा है कि आप डाइव ना मार सकें आउटफील्ड फेयर था दोनों टीम्स के लिए No, I wasn't worried at all uh, at any point of time. Uh, it was just, um, you know, about staying calm uh, in tricky situations and uh, making sure you get get back into better situations and lay a platform for the people coming in um, to get some big shots in and get a decent score on the board. Uh, you know, you don't need to uh, go blazing all out. Uh, you know, in every game, uh, especially against a side like Afghanistan, who has nothing to lose, you have to be more careful than you know, expressive and. and uh, see to it that you make sure the team wins rather than just going out there and being over confident or taking them lightly so it was a matter of being calm in a tricky situation and i didn't think at any point we would lose the game but yeah it was not uh, a few situations were not uh, according to plan they didn't go according to plan and that was sort of uh, a bit disturbing but i didn't think any point of time we would lose the game Uh, Vera, how um, how's morale in the squad? It looked quite tense out there at times. Yeah, as I said, um, while we were bowling, it was even while we were batting initially. Um, as I said, they got nothing to lose. They were just going out there and expressing themselves, uh, expecting, you know, not too much out of what they were doing, and uh, you know that that way, more or less, you you tend to do the right things, and things go your way. So even when their batsmen came out slogging, the edges edges were flying to boundaries rather than where the fielders were placed. and uh, you know those those sort of things can happen as i said you need to stay calm in those tricky situations but yeah there are there were a few tense moments out there and uh, i said this in uh, just now that we could have won by a bigger margin and uh, we could have done uh, a bit more a bit better in our bowling last four questions 1 2 3 4 uh, virat you, uh, virat you said that yeah, uh, things could um virat uh, yesterday even mahi said that the bowling obviously is uh, comparatively weaker than our batting Uh, you know, given the way we bowl today, and you sh- expressed your concern, how much more difficult or challenging do you think it will get for the bowling unit as the pro- tournament progresses? Well, it's gonna. I'm just hoping that it, it was a case of playing against a side which had nothing to lose. Uh, you know, that way you are always uh, in doubt. You know, uh, if they start scoring in a few overs, then you know things could uh, slip away very quickly. So I'm hoping that. Uh, against the bigger opposition uh, will turn out to be um, you know turn out in a more positive way as a, as far as our bowling is concerned be more aggressive execute our plans properly and uh, you know be more geared up uh, you can say for uh, the stronger oppositions and um, you know i'm just hoping that happens and uh, we put in a better bowling show virat uh, you said things could have been, you could you could have won with a bigger margin even afghanistan could have done better they lo- they dropped three catches including you suresh and another one so against england that might not happen so is that a bit of concern and especially our openers not coming good yet well we might score 200 against england then uh, that might happen as well i mean you just you can't uh, actually expect anything from a game of cricket uh, we ended up scoring 160 and that was what's the score what the scoreboard shows and uh, you know that's going to stay so we have to play good cricket again uh, catches do get dropped uh you do get fours of inside edges uh, going past the stumps so that's all part and parcel of the game you just can't stick to it and say if if the catches had been taken we would have lost the game or something like that uh we won the game at the end of the day and the scorecard shows that and uh, we're just going to come out very positive again against england as well and uh, as i said try to put in a better performance last two questions 
Uh, Virat, uh, you know, uh, when you guys first came in, uh, Mahi basically said that the pitches will have a great bearing on how this tournament really goes. What What do you make of the pitch? Do you think it's better for fast bowlers? Do you think it's better for spinners? Uh, what do you, What do you think of the uh, makeup of the bowling attack? Well, it was a slow wicket uh, by the looks of it, and by playing on it, I thought it was better suited for spinners who could vary their pace, and um, you know, not not so much for fast bowlers. I mean. The fast bowlers had to be very clever in what they wanted to do, uh, pitch the slower balls in the right areas because the outfield was quick and the wickets pretty flat. Although it's slow, but um, you know it, it was pretty flat as far as the fast bowlers are concerned. But as I said, spinners can vary their pace and um, you know get away from with things, and um, it suited the spinners a bit more. But I think overall it was a good batting wicket, not a great batting wicket, but um, a decent batting wicket uh, which was a bit on the slower side. Virat, uh, there's, there's been a lot of talk about uh, how much contribution the part-time bowlers would make. But don't you think it, the problem is now lying with the premier bowlers? Zaheer Khan's poor patch is continuing for a longer phase. Don't you think so? New Zealand T20s pra practice games. And, uh, is it a concern? He's the premier fast bowler and you said about clever bowling on, in these tracks. See, um, in our initial bowling hasn't been that bad. Um, I think we've started well. Even against New Zealand, we started really well. I think it's the death bowling we need to work on. Uh, you know, if someone's getting hit in the last over, you just can't, uh, you know, um, say that he, he's not bowling well at all. I think he's been bowling well with the new ball. Uh, it's just that our bowlers need to work a bit more at the death overs. That's been a bit of a concern till now. And um, you know, as I said, I'm hoping that we can pull our socks up and um, be ready for the stronger opposition and execute our plans much better than we did in this game. Thank you very, very much. Thank, Thank you. you.